government feels we need to have stronger institutions to manage the infrastructure. And here the European Union has given us support to build the capacity of the sector in the preparation and implementation of the National Integrated Transport Master Plan. And this support also includes technical assistance to our agencies, specifically the road fund, so that they have the capacity to move out and of course to, to inspect and monitor. And the support also goes to UNRWA, the National Road Safety Authority. And for this support is aimed at enhancing UNRWA's capacity to efficiently develop and maintain the national road network. And they have done quite well with that support. They have done a lot of in-house capacity building, land acquisition, they have a unit. And all these technical departments, they have built quite a lot of capacity. In 2015, this institution underwent a major restructuring exercise that um, was aimed at reforming our service so that we'd be able to give better service to the public, create more paved network and maintain the unpaved network. And so over the last so many years, I think from about 2017, we uh, identified areas together with them in the technical departments, which is the engineering departments, and in the support departments. And so for these last so many months, we have been working alongside with the EU-funded team, the IMC, uh, worldwide, that has supported us in not just identifying and building capacity, but also in time, sometimes hand-holding us through technical areas like contracts and claims. In the last year, we received a grant of uh, 50 million uh, euro to construct a key uh, road that starts in Aptiak all the way through to Laropi. It's about 66 kilometers. And um, we're happy that um, this came as a grant because that area has basically not been served with a good tarmac road, and so this would be excellent to be able to serve the communities in northern Uganda. The Atiak Laropi project is funded by the government of Uganda and the European Union. The European Union contribution is 50 million euros. This is about 200 billion Ugandan shillings towards the cost of civil works and supervision services. The government of Uganda contribution is 11.9 million euros. This is about 48 billion Ugandan shillings towards the cost also of civil works, supervision services, and the compensation of project affected persons. So we are supporting a three and a half year technical assistance of about 3.9 million euros to support UNRWA and build their capacity in rehabilitation design, in cost estimation, in procurement, and uh, climate resilient drainage design, among other areas. The highlight of this TA is the, the support that we are giving them in performance management to enable the organization develop a culture of excellence. This will enable every individual staff in UNRWA to account for results that feed into the mandate of the organization. And we are confident that it will help in the transformation of the organization. We already reaping some of the fruit from the way the Atiakla Ropi Road project is being managed. Currently we are moving very well. We started in June. When you look at the way the work is moving on, I would call it a success because the contractor is currently ahead of schedule in terms of his physical works on the ground. Uh, the physical progress is currently like about 17.33%. This is a, a national and a national trunk road connecting Uganda, South Sudan, and uh, Democratic Republic of Congo. So it will facilitate regional integration between the neighboring countries. Communities and the, com the, the, the people using the road will spend less time and save more time for productive work. Major, major challenges we have been facing is the COVID, which somehow affected mobilization of the project. We have staff flying from Europe, Germany, Switzerland, all part, all part of the world who are supposed to come. But because of travel restrictions at airports, most of these staff were unable to come on time. So it has been a big challenge, but now that with the opening of the airports and the travel restrictions, 
most of the staff have finally come on board and are now very active on the ground. In our partnership with the, with the government, um, we have so far uh, provided uh, substantial uh, grant funding in the hundreds of uh, million euros over the, couple, the, the last few years to develop a, a good technically and competitive uh, transport uh, infrastructure in partnership with them. And the government on, on their own have committed uh, finances to uh, ensure the uh, proper maintenance and operation of those, those assets upon their completion. We firmly believe that strong institutions with a good technical mandate can provide uh, good technical res results and elevate the uh, transport uh, sector in Uganda. And in this context, uh, I would like to uh, commend and uh, support the work that the Ugandan National Roads Authority has done in particular uh, around the preparation uh, of the Adia Klaropi roads projects uh, with uh, timely um, uh, land acquisition and uh, making the site available to the, um, to the contractor, uh, good design uh, that is uh, in, in fact uh, being reviewed at the moment. Uh, and uh, ensuring that uh, the project is compliant with the international environmental and social uh, standards uh, upon its uh, implementation. We hope that uh, this attention to detail will continue uh, in the implementation of, of the project and this is the kind of partnership that the European Union is uh, pleased to, uh, to promote in the country.